Portland do not consent to this reckless act of war. Hundreds of people turned out to protest actions that could lead to a potential war with Iran, and they showed up in downtown Portland. This is Coin 6 News at 10 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Haw. And I'm Jeff Gianola. Tonight, reaction after President Trump orders a deadly airstrike killing Iranian General Qassem Soleimani, seen as a powerful figure in the Middle East. The president says Soleimani was planning attacks on Americans overseas. Iran tonight vowing to retaliate. And tonight's rally opposing the military action that took place at Terry Shrunk Plaza. Our Jennifer Dowling was there. She's there live tonight. What were people saying to you tonight, Jennifer? Well, one of the themes that say they said was they wanted to strike. Uh, this is an example of one of the signs, general strike. There are a lot of socialists here tonight. Uh, that is remaining from the rally. Uh, the organizers told me that they put this on on short notice, but still they had 250 to 300 people show up. They were spirited, but tonight's protest was also peaceful. When we fight, we fight. The crowd chanted loudly with a unified message, hands off Iran. To let people know that if our, our military, if our president is doing this, it's not in our name. Protester Daniel Shea is a member of Veterans for Peace. He says nationwide the organization has a call up to stand up to say no to war on Iran. I am opposed to war as a veteran of Vietnam War, a Marine Corps veteran, machine gunner, who saw death and destruction. Don't want to see more death and destruction because in these wars nobody wins. It is our responsibility as American citizens to stand up and say we don't support this and we don't support the politicians that make this happen. Brandon Jonely says past wars influenced his perspective in a different way. Like I was seven when 9/11 happened and nine when Iraq happened. We've been in those been in the same wars for the whole time since then. Trump has said that the fatal drone strike on the Iranian general was done to stop war, but here protesters wondered if impeachment proceedings played a role. Is he trying to deflect from it? Does he need to be a war president so that he can declare martial law, suspend uh, the Congress, and anything else? I don't know. Paige Kreisman is campaigning for a seat in the Oregon House of Representatives. She is calling for people to stand in solidarity with those who would bear the brunt of a war. Yeah, I'm a veteran myself. I was an infantry woman in the U.S. Army, and I deployed to the Middle East, and I saw firsthand the human suffering and the uh, material consequences of the forever war that we're waging in that region. The Democratic Socialists of America organized tonight's protest. They say that they'll continue organizing more if escalation continues. Back to you. Jennifer Dowling live for us tonight. Thank you for that. And we will, of course, continue to follow any breaking news of the potential conflict with Iran here on Coin6 News and as always on Coin.com.